Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and do another example on the SOSL query. So consider a business case where we need to search for the name My Tutorial Rack in the name field of a lead. So by this way, you already by know by now that okay, we are only looking for the name field. We are not interested in all field scope. So the scope will be the name fields. What is the object that we are looking for? We are looking in the lead object. And then return the name and phone number of any matching record that was also created in the current fiscal year. So we have a bunch of things here. First of all, we are looking for the name My Tutorial Rack in the lead records, only in the name fields of the lead record. And we are expecting the query to result the name and the phone number of all the matching records. And there's another filter that we are using is the current physical year, which would also create it in the current physical quarter. So all the records which were created in the current physical quarter and the name is my tutorial rack, those records will be returned here. Okay, and what fields of the record? Only the name field and the phone number field. So the first thing that we need to do is we're going to go to the lead records and enter some leads with the name my tutorial rack so we can test it. So you're going to go ahead and uh, add a couple of records here. company let's say hello hit the save button and then we're going to go ahead and create another record with my tutorial rack let's say and let's say we had some text here and hit the save button and let's create a third record and since we're returning the phone fields let's say we enter the phone and number as well So it has my tutorial rack, but it has hi at the in the front. So hi my tutorial rack. So then company is hit the save button. So now what we have done is we have created three records which have my tutorial rack in them, but there's only one record which exactly matches my tutorial rack. Then there's another record which has my tutorial rack and the number one, two at the end. And then we are also displaying the phone number fields and the name fields. So these are the records that we have now. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write our SOSL query. And what this query will do, this query will search for this particular name in the name field of a lead. And it will return the name and the phone number of the matching records. The records were created in the current fiscal year. So since we have already just now we created it. So it's a part of the current fiscal quarter. So this particular condition is going to meet. So let's go ahead and go to your debug console. And let's go ahead and run the example. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and write the query. So the query would be find. What are we finding? We are looking for the text my tutorial rack. This is what we are looking for. In which fields? In the name fields means we are only interested in the name fields. And what are we expecting it to return? So I, I'm expecting returning. the name field and the phone number field. So we are expecting it to return the name and the phone number field where, so there's a condition here where the created date is equals to this physical quarter. So this is what the this is what the requirement is. So we are only looking for the records which are created this particular quarter and the name is equals to my tutorial rack. So this is what we are looking for. And whatever the results it is going to give us, the query is going to result into, we are going to go ahead and create a list of the list of the S objects here. And the name of the list is let's say records. And now we're going to go ahead and this records will have all the information or all let's say lead records let's say name of the list is lead list so this particular list will contain all the lead records where the name is equals to my tutorial rack okay and then we are going to go ahead and write the system dot of debug statement and we're going to go ahead and say results are and then we're going to go ahead and display the list here so this is going to be the lead list 
So this is what the, we're going to go ahead and display whatever the records are returned from the query. So this is our SOSL query. We are looking for the text, my tutorial rack in which fields in the name fields and uh, returning what is it expecting it only I'm interested in the name and the phone number field but of the records which were created this particular quarter so created date is equals to this physical quarter is the uh, condition that I've added and then I'm displaying the results here so let's go ahead and execute go to the debug section only Results are so it returned you all the records my tutorial rack 12 and then my tutorial. It did not return you this particular one, the one which has high in it because it considered it as one word, and that's why. If you go ahead and give some space in here, then it will go ahead and fetch that record as well. So it fetched all the records which have my tutorial rack in them. So now, if I go back and rerun the query here. This time it is going to return you all the three records. Yes. Hi, my tutorial rack, the phone number field, then this record and this record. So it returned you three records which have my tutorial rack in them. So this is how the SOSL query works. When you can search in different objects, they does not need to be related to each other. See, account and customer object that we have where we search for the text ABC were not related to each other. They were totally independent of each other, but we were looking for the particular string in those two objects. So SOSL query is useful when you're looking for a particular string in multiple objects and uh, you, even those two objects are not related to each other. That's fine. You can still use SOSL. So this is about the SOSL query. Now in the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and take a good look at the SOQL Overview means the Salesforce object query language. We're going to go ahead and deep dive into those query and we're going to go ahead and take a look at multiple examples related to that. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.